In the labyrinth of Hollywood's golden era, one name stood out like a constellation against the darkened backdrop of cinematic history, Karen Morley. Picture this, the first flicker of recognition, a moment etched in the recesses of your cinematic memory. Perhaps it was the luminosity of her presence or the subtle dance of emotions across her visage that left an indelible mark on your consciousness. Morley, with her ethereal charisma, carved her niche in the collective nostalgia of film enthusiasts. Now, as we embark on a journey through the annals of her life, let's peel back the layers of time to uncover the nuances that made Karen Morley an enigma worth exploring. Born for the silver screen, Morley's tale unfolds like a carefully scripted screenplay, with each chapter revealing a facet of her that resonates beyond the confines of the celluloid. We traverse through the tapestry of her career, exploring the subtle strokes of her performances that painted masterpieces on the canvas of cinema. Karen Morley wasn't just an actress, she was the embodiment of an era symbol of resilience, talent, and a commitment to the craft that transcended the mere act of acting. As we delve into the random facts that add color to the grayscale of her public persona, prepare to be captivated by the anecdotes that weave a tapestry of her life. From her early forays into the world of theater to the magnetic allure that drew audiences to the silver screen, Karen Morley's journey is a captivating narrative of ambition, passion, and the ever-evolving landscape of Hollywood. So, fasten your seatbelts, dear reader, for we are about to embark on a cinematic odyssey through the life and times of Karen Morley a journey that promises to be as riveting as the roles she immortalized on film. The stage is set, the reels are ready to roll, and the spotlight is trained on the woman who left an indelible mark on the celluloid canvas. And now, without further ado, let the revelation of random facts commence, illuminating the path of Karen Morley's legacy in the grand tapestry of Hollywood's golden age. Brace yourself for a voyage into the heart of a bygone arayon where Karen Morley reigns supreme. Karen Morley, once a radiant Hollywood starlet, saw her career crumble five decades ago during the era of the Hollywood blacklist and McCarthyism. The political turmoil of the time left an indelible mark on her professional life. Despite this setback, Morley emerged as a steadfast left-wing activist in the San Francisco area, championing her convictions. Now in her 90 seconds, Morley made a poignant appearance in a December 1999 Vanity Fair photo shoot, standing alongside other survivors of the blacklist. The visual narrative captured the resilience of those who endured a dark chapter in Hollywood history. On a more personal note, Morley, a mother to a son named Michael Carroll Vidor, experienced the profound loss of her child. Michael, born on August 26, 1933, lived to the age of 66 before his passing on March 30, 2000, in the town of East Sound on Orcas Island, Washington. Hollywood folklore weaves a tale of Morley breaking into films in 1931 when she demonstrated her acting prowess during auditions for Greta Garbo's movie Inspiration. Her convincing performance led director Clarence Brown to cast her in a significant role, propelling her into the limelight. Karen Morley's journey encapsulates the intersection of Hollywood glamour, political turmoil, and personal triumphs and tribulations. As a survivor of the Hollywood blacklist, she not only weathered the storm, but also found a renewed purpose in activism, leaving an enduring mark on both the silver screen and the socio-political landscape. Karen Morley, a prominent figure in Hollywood's golden era, had a son named Michael with her first husband, Charles Vidor. This familial connection adds a personal touch to Morley's life, showcasing a side beyond her cinematic achievements. Interestingly, Morley was in the running for the role of Mrs. Connolly in the 2003 Drew Barrymore film, Duplex. However, her audition was derailed by an unexpected twist their grandson inexplicably refused to let her proceed. This role would have marked her fifth collaboration with a member of the Barrymore family, underscoring her enduring presence in the film industry. While Morley was a lifelong liberal Democrat, a notable aspect of her political stance was her self-identification as a communist. This ideological commitment added a layer of complexity to her public persona, reflecting a time when political affiliations carried significant weight in Hollywood. In summary, Karen Morley's life is not only marked by her cinematic contributions, but also by personal connections and intriguing twists in her career. Her familial ties and political beliefs provide a nuanced perspective on a woman whose legacy extends beyond the silver screen. 
Karen Morley, From Hollywood to Politics in 1931, Karen Morley earned recognition as a WANPAS baby star, a testament to her rising status in the Hollywood scene. The accolade marked a pivotal moment in her career, acknowledging her talent and presence in the film industry. Later in life, Morley forged an unexpected friendship with producer Todd Baker. This connection, formed in the twilight of her career, highlighted the enduring nature of relationships in the entertainment business. Despite the challenges that often accompany the industry, Morley found camaraderie with Baker, showcasing a different facet of her personal and professional life. However, Morley's journey extended beyond the glitz of Hollywood. In 1954, she entered the realm of politics, running as a candidate for New York Lieutenant Governor on the American Labor Party ticket. Despite her efforts, success eluded her in this venture. Karen Morley's trajectory, marked by early acclaim in Hollywood, an enduring friendship with Todd Baker, and a political foray in the 1950s, paints a multifaceted picture of a woman who navigated different realms of public life. Her story reflects the intersection of entertainment and politics, showcasing the diverse paths individuals in the public eye may traverse over the course of their lives. Karen Morley's MGM career hit a snag when she married director Charles Vidor. This move seemingly irked Hollywood, as Vidor was a rising star in the industry. The public didn't take kindly to Morley snagging him over more conventionally attractive actresses, affecting her image as an ingenue. Consequently, by the late 30 seconds, Morley found herself relegated to minor roles. In an interview, Morley pointed out that Irving Thalberg, often considered the brains of MGM, understood the film industry's dynamics. Thalberg, due to childhood illness, spent significant time in bed reading. Recognizing that movies predominantly focused on women's issues in those days, he played a crucial role in shaping the industry. After testifying before the Senate committee with her second husband Lloyd Go, both known for their leftist views, Morley's Hollywood presence dwindled. She only returned to the screen for a single film, the independent western born to the saddle in 1953. However, unlike Go, who re-emerged in the 60 seconds, Morley remained out of sight. Intriguingly, Karen Morley, a figure of Hollywood's past, testified to the shifting tides and challenges faced by actresses who dared to break from the norm. Her choices, both personal and professional, left an indelible mark on her career, showcasing the complexities of Hollywood's golden era. Karen Morley, a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, maintained a complex political identity throughout her life. Despite being a lifelong liberal Democrat, she consistently identified herself as a communist. This ideological stance set her apart in an era marked by political tensions and ideological clashes. Morley's commitment to her beliefs was notable, and her association with communism was a defining aspect of her public persona. It added a layer of controversy to her career, especially during times when political affiliations were closely scrutinized in the entertainment industry. One intriguing episode in Morley's career involved a missed opportunity in the 2003 Drew Barrymore film, Duplex. She had been considered for the role of Mrs. Connolly, a potential collaboration that would have marked her fifth project with a member of the Barrymore family. However, her grandson's unexpected refusal to let her audition altered the course of her involvement in the film. The what-ifs of this decision linger as a curious footnote in Morley's cinematic journey. Family played a significant role in Morley's life, and she had one child, a son named Michael Caroli Vidor. Born on August 26, 1933, Michael's life took a somber turn when he passed away on March 30, 2000, in the town of East Sound on Orcas Island, Washington. The loss of her only child added a personal dimension to Morley's life, revealing a more private aspect behind the public figure. In conclusion, Karen Morley's multifaceted identity, from her political affiliations to her cinematic pursuits and personal losses, paints a nuanced picture of a woman navigating the complexities of her time. Her legacy is not only etched in the roles she played on screen, but also in the convictions she held off screen making her a compelling figure in the annals of Hollywood history. As we draw the curtain on this journey through the captivating realms of Karen Morley's performances, take a moment to let the echoes of her artistry linger in the corridors of your thoughts. In the tapestry of cinematic history, Morley's contributions are not just scenes etched in frames, but stories eternally inscribed in the hearts of those who've been touched by her craft. 
Now, it's your turn to be part of this narrative. Reflect on the moments when Morley's presence illuminated your screen. Each roll a brushstroke in the portrait of your cinematic experience. What memories linger and what emotions surface as you traverse the landscapes of her performances. Your connection with Karen Morley is a unique thread woven into the fabric of her legacy. We invite you to share your reflections, your favorite scenes, the characters that became companions in the theater of your mind. Let your words join the collective ode to an artist who transcended the screen to become a timeless muse for admirers like yourself. In celebrating Karen Morley, we celebrate the power of storytelling, the resonance of a performer who, through her nuanced portrayals, mirrored the complexities of the human experience. Your thoughts are not just commentary, they are tributes to a legacy that continues to shape the very essence of entertainment. As we bid adieu to this exploration, we extend our heartfelt appreciation for your time and interest. Your presence in this shared reflection is a testament to the enduring impact of Karen Morley on the world of entertainment. Thank you for being part of this cinematic conversation.